fact, all the best in the coming year as well. But another company came out with a set of numbers. Uh, Somani Sarab Mix has just reported the set of numbers. It was flashing for you on your screen. We're now joined by Mr. Abhishek uh, Somani, uh, currently to detail uh, those numbers. Hi, Mr. Somani. Thanks for joining in. Uh, first things first, your top line, in fact, has shown a good growth of around 28% approximately on a year-on-year basis. Though margins, they've uh, dipped below that 6%. Uh, what caused this particular dip in margins? No, the margins, you're absolutely wrong. The margins have, in fact, improved substantially. Mm -hmm. EBITDA margin is not the right indicator for us. All right. We have said this in various interviews, uh, the right indicator, the parameter for us, the PBT margins and the part margins, because we have a separate mix, mix between outsourced production, joint venture production and own manufacturing. Therefore, the PBT is what you should be watching, and that, that's gone up by 41%. Okay. Fair enough. You've seen a strong jump in your sales this quarter. Can you just tell us what were the segments that contributed the most? How's business doing? So boys have done well. We've grown about 15 to 16% by volume and the balance uh, 11 to 12% has come through value. And uh, we maintain that the value a little bit has come from price increases, but majority has come from the, uh, the, the change in product mix in favor of the value addition. And that has culminated in the 41% jump uh, at the PBT level. All right, Mr. Sumani, but uh, I just was looking at some of your expenses. Your power and fuel cost has gone up by more than 25% uh, on a uh, on a year-on-year -year basis. Do you see it stabilizing uh, stabilizing at these particular levels? Also, also, what's included in your other expenses? Because that's up 36%. Yes. So power and fuel. Uh, if you remember the last quarter, corresponding quarter, which is Q1 FY14, uh, mm -hmm. the dollar was at 55, and the power rates, uh, the gas rates, were much much lower. And then when the dollar spiked and currently we are at 60, 61 rupees, that's been the differential uh, between last year, the same quarter. So that explains the power cost. And the other income, uh, part of it is the uh, uh, interest we earned on the money in the bank from the uh, 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 money which we had raised the last mm. quarter. Actually, Mr. Sumani, I'm asking you about your other expenses as well. Your other income has shot up, but your other expenses also, what... Uh, what all comes under other expenses because that has shot up 35% on a year-on-year -year basis. That, that is all to do with branding, exp okay. distribution, etc. Okay. What is the volume growth that you expect going forward and uh, also any more price increases that we can expect? I uh, can't talk immediately on the price increases, but definitely we will keep uh, increasing our value-added sales mix uh, in favor of the top, top end, the value-added product. And in terms of uh, value volume, we should be growing at a 60-40 level this year. So a substantial amount of capacity is kicking in. So whatever the growth will be at the end of the year, 60-65%, uh, let's say 60% would come out of volume and the balance would come out of value. All right, Mr. Sumani. So it's looking good uh, for this year then and you're sounding quite optimistic. Um, finance cost as well has dipped. Uh, what's your total debt uh, at present? And uh, could you take us through what's your targeted debt uh, in this particular financial year? Our debt is extremely healthy. We are at 0.62% uh, uh, to 1, which is a very healthy debt, uh, debt equity. And this is not accounting for cash in the bank. Uh, if I net that off, I'm virtually debt free uh, from that perspective, so to say, figure of speech. And uh, looking very positive, we're not adding on any on uh, any more debt while we maintain that we would grow at uh, around the 20% figure year on year. Okay, Mr. Somani, thanks very much for joining in. Uh, so that's the word coming in from Somani Ceramics, which actually has uh, shown a significant jump in terms of their profits, um, 8 crores versus 5 crores, low base, but nonetheless, the stock has spiked up as well. It's up around 3-odd percent. We'll uh, take a break now, but or rather, before that, let's get in some more market perspective. Sridhar Sivaraman of Morgan Stanley does not see any substantial